Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening teacher. Problem with the microphone. And all set in order to start the class today. So just let me know how do you feel in some areas. Um, some of your classmates said that it's, it is raining her. Okay, Gabriela Ramirez, how do you feel today? Gabriela, you look so serious today. Welcome, Edwin Alfredo. Nice to see you again. Sergio is not there. Candy Natalie, your camera, please, Janet. Cecilia, Hector. Mercedes is working, maybe. Hi, teacher. Hello. Carlos is busy, too. Esmeralda. Okay, I got only a stand and I need to have more than 20. Teacher, I am very hungry. You. Is there a reason? Is there a reason? Buenas noches, profe. Fíjense que estoy intentando conectarme, pero no entiendo por qué. Yo no sé si es por la gran tormenta que está cayendo o por... Okay, well, I got some messages from your classmate. Some of them are not going to be here with us because they had to work or do something else. Well, I'm here all set in order to start today.
My goodness, I don't know what they are going to do. Okay, um, I'm going to take a look at the at, in the attendant list right now. Uh, well, we can wait a little bit. We are going to start with an activity related with the new topic that we are going to start today. This is week number two. We are uh, starting with number two. But before that, let me take a look at the by the platform. Déjenme darle una mirada primero a la plataforma. Okay, I'm going to mention the one that already uh, finished with number one. Los que han finalizado la semana uno, las tareas, Cecilia, eh, Edwin, Alfredo, Esmeralda, Gabriela y Amilet, Héctor Enrique, Jonathan, José Ernesto, Kendi, Mercedes, Roxana Elizabeth. Veamos si hay alguien más a la otra página. Sara, Sergio, Janet del Carmen. Son solamente los que han completado la semana 1. Si su nombre no fue dicho, le suplico, por favor, tratar de terminar las actividades para poder ir ordenando sus notas. ¿Alguna pregunta referente a la plataforma? ¿Algún problema que esté presentando alguien? Me lo va diciendo ahorita antes de iniciar, por favor. No problem at all. I don't have problem, teacher. Okay. Problem, teacher. I don't have problem too. Okay. Well, I'm going to mention your name. I'm going to check up now or 
el, el problema es que si hago la primera actividad, después se me olvida y ustedes no me recuerdan. Tienen que recordarme. Please just remind me that I need to check out the attendance. Only that I need. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, this is session number six. Today, Wednesday, August 16. And our topic for today is industry vocabulary. That means that we are going to talk about new words, maybe you already know. And uh, you are going to start using it in a conversation. So in order to start, let me show you here first. Okay, this is the topic. This is the topic for today. Remember that this is English for work. Este es en inglés para el trabajo. Eh, y ya de este nivel en adelante va enfocado precisamente a eso. A términos relacionados con la industria. So, we are going to talk about that today. But before that, let me share with you something now. Antes de eso, let me do something. Okay, if we are going to talk about industry, we need to talk about that in a general way. For that reason, I need that you read this concept that I have here and we are going to match. We have education, sport, health, care, pharmaceutical, biotechs, technology, art, fashion, media, and entertainment and food. And you need to read the info that is at your right. And you are going to tell me which one I'm going to move. I'm going to give you two minutes or three in order that you can read it. And later on, you are going to tell me which one. I need to move for the first gap that I have here. Ok, primero vamos a leer, les doy dos, tres minutos y luego iniciamos moviendo. Usted me va a levantar su manito ahí, me va a decir, teacher, could you move, uh, and you are going to say the name, for example, fashion, food, sport, education, but we are going to do it uh, in order. We are going to start, it's up to you, we can start at the top or the bottom.
Okay, let us start now. We are going to start right here. Phil, PB, Publishing, Digital, Marketing, Advertising. Which one do you consider that I need to put here? For Janet. me? Janet, oh. Janet, Janet, oh. Janet. Okay. okay, don't forget that you need to raise your hand, please. I'm sorry. In order that we can uh, follow another, we are going to raise our hand. Janet. Tell me, Janet. Janet, Janet, tell me. Janet, tell me. Janet, tell me. Ah, food. You say food? Food. And restaurant? No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm talking about the third one. Estoy hablando de la primera. Phil, TV, Publishing, Digital, oh, okay, Marketing, okay. and Advertising. Which one is the answer for this category? And media and entertainment. Which one? Media and entertainment. Media. Okay. Media. media and entertainment. Media. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. Let me see who's next is, okay, Elvin and then Esmeralda. And number two, visual or performing arts is arts. Visual, visual. 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 Visual or performing art. Okay, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Hi. What about the next one? A sport team, sport related education, sport agencies, marketing, or advertising? Uh, a sport. Sport, sports. Okay, uh, Paola, Paola, your turn. This thing, um, manufacturing is budging. Okay. Uh, fashion. Fashion. Okay, and, and take a look at this word that I'm going to pronounce for you. Repeat, design. Design. Manufacturing. Repeat, manufacturing. Manufacturing. Bajin. 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 Okay, design, manufacturing, bajin. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. next, next, next. Somebody else, please. Alguien más, por favor. Mano arriba. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you want to participate. Candy, Candy. Natalie, tell me. Restaurant is food. You consider this, this one right here? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me put it there. And later on, we are going to uh, check it. Restaurants, restaurant, Corporate services, human rights, and food access. Okay. Restaurant, corporate service, human rights, and food access. Okay. Uh, Cecilia Maribel. Hardware, software, is technology. Technology, quite easy, quite easy for you. Hardware and software. Okay, somebody else, please. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 okay, Don Edwin, creo que ya había participado. Uh, Gabriela. Education teacher, early, elementary, middle school, secondary school, hiders, education, adult, corporate, 
en excuse ex, ex, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso, teacher? Executive. Executive. Pedagogy. Pedagogy. Uh -huh. I'm going to read it for you. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to move this right here. Okay. Okay, early elementary, middle school, secondary school, higher education, adult, corporate, and executive pedagogy. Okay, thank you. Hector, Hector, the last one, Hector. Yeah. Medical equipment, human rights, medical car access, patient advocacy, and the world. Privacy is health care, pharmaceutical, biometric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Healthcare, pharmaceutical, biotics. Okay. Take a look there. We have a new terminology. New terminology that we are going to study as soon as we continue developing the class. <clears throat> Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, the next one is medical equipment, human rights, medical care access, passion, advocacy, and privacy. Okay, before to click uh, send, I need, uh, if you can, you can uh, take a screenshot in order that you can relay uh, this information with new term. Si alguien puede, la, la envía al WhatsApp, por favor. Okay, I'm going to read again. Feel to be publishing digital marketing, advertising, art, visual or performing art, sport, sport team, sport related education, Sport agencies, marketing, or advertising, design, manufacturing, budget, food, restaurant, corporate services, human rights, and food access, uh, technology, hardware, software, education, early elementary, middle school, secondary school, higher education, adult, corporate, and executive pedagogy. And the last one, healthcare, pharmaceutical, biotech, uh, medical equipment, human rights, listen, medical equipment, human rights, medical care access, passion, advocacy, and privacy. Okay, any questions so far from here? Just let me know, please. Alguna pregunta que haya hasta ahí, por favor. <clears throat> No questions. No questions. Ok. Bueno, cuando no hay preguntas es porque ya se sabe la pronunciación de todas las palabras. And that is important. Y como ya sabemos todas las palabras. Sergio. Are you there, Sergio? Tell me. And the last um, patient advocacy. Okay, pa pa passion advocacy. What's the meaning? The meaning? Sí, yes. Eso es como 
lo, los derechos que tiene un paciente a porque la palabra advocacy, eso es como que si tiene algún problema legal, también tiene derechos eh, legales con un abogado. Es something like that, you know? Eso es passion advocacy. Ok. Ok, what else? ¿Qué más? Someone else, someone else, someone else. Alguien más. Teacher, uh, middle, middle. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Middle, middle school. Middle. Middle, middle school. Como que si fuese una R en vez de la D. Middle. Ok. Middle school. Bueno, espero que hayan hecho ya su... Hayan hecho su, 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 su captura, ¿no? Okay, I'm going to, oh, well, well, I'm going to click right here. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Okay, you did a great job. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, your answer are there. Ahí están sus respuestas. All this vocabulary related with the industry, right? Okay, I'm going to stop and we are going to continue. ¿Qué es lo que nos hizo falta? Y les dije que me acordaran a las 8 y 20, señores. Se les olvidó. A mí también. Other activity, teacher. Hola. Other activity. Uh, we miss the, the attendance list. Okay, America Elizabeth, say present if you are there. Dijo que no se podía conectar. Sí, escribió ahí, es cierto. Ok. Eh, por la lluvia. Eh, ya que mencionan eso. Bueno, voy a dejar constancia en la grabación. Permítanme un segundo. De las personas que han eh, enviado sus... Bueno, Roxana, buenas noches. Informo que cae fuerte lluvia en mi zona. Espero poder conectarme. Roxana Álvarez, buenas noches. Por motivos laborales no puedo estar presente en la clase. Dice Ingrid. Ingrid Calderón. Don Edwin Pérez envía un mensaje. Buenas noches, Tiche. Por motivos de fuerza mayor, este día no podré estar. Y alguien más, buenas noches, acá donde vivo no hay energía eléctrica. No aparece el nombre de la persona, solo dice yes. Me imagino que es Yesen. Y América que ha enviado también sus audios. Alguien más que no aparece su nombre, solo con el, las terminaciones 28.33. Dice teacher, acá está lloviendo fuerte. No tengo mucho inter. Bueno, entonces, si hacemos un recuento, son varios. Pero voy a dejar constancia de... Teacher, eh, yo soy la, la última que escribí, soy Gisela. 
Ah, Gisela. Es que okay. Lo que pasa es que estoy en base a datos, por si han dado caso este. Ah, ok, ok. Un antes. Ajá, sí. pero sí estoy aquí en, en clases. Oh, ok, thank you, thank you. Ok, Carlos Amilcar, say hello if you are here. Uh, present teacher. Ok, thank you. Uh, Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis, es uno de los que escribió. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok, Edwin Alfredo is here. Uh, Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. teacher. La... Yo no sé si solo soy yo, pero se le cortó bastante tiempo el, el audio y a mí se me para prácticamente su audio y su video. Hola, pregunto eh, a los demás. ¿Me están oyendo entrecortado a mí? No, no, no teacher. No, no, teacher. Yo lo he hecho cortado, teacher. No, y se teacher. le paró el video. No, entonces es su señal. Sí, tiene que ser su señal, porque de lo contrario, ya los demás compañeros me hubiesen avisado, me hubiesen dicho, no se le oye, hay interferencia, whatever. Pero gracias por avisar, vamos a estar pendientes. Ok, continúo, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Ahí está Gabriela, hoy está seria. No, teacher, es que... En el trabajo, al estar sacando unos documentos, este, con unas hojas, me, me pegué en los ojos y ando más chinita de lo normal. No, 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 no se ande, no se ande golpeando. <risa> Tiene que tener seguridad ahí. The right equipment in order to avoid accidents. Y eso es parte, miren, eh, no sé si más adelante vamos a ver algunos temas relacionados con eso, de los accidentes industriales. Porque como dije, de aquí en adelante vamos entrando ya con nuevos vocabularios referentes a la industria, todo lo que tiene que ver con el trabajo, ¿no? Entonces, les sugiero, les suplico que lleven su cuadernito para ir anotando las nuevas palabras, frases que van a ir apareciendo, porque ya son más técnicas. Y cuando no comprenda algún concepto, por favor, levante su mano. Teacher, I don't got the message. Could you repeat? Could you explain me in another word in order that I can get a picture, get some ideas about that? And I'm going to give you a hand with that, okay? Uh, Gisela Guadalupe. So I have a... Present teacher. Okay, Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Hector is there too. Uh, Ingrid. Ingrid Geraldina, ahí ella es la que escribió también, Jonathan. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. No lo vemos ahí, don Jonathan. Se nos ha perdido por la lluvia o qué pasa. Eh, José Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Ok, Catherine, Paola. Say hello, please. Paola, 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 say hello, say hello. Good evening, teacher. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, Paolita. Ok, um, Candy. Natalie, Natalie. Present, teacher, present. Ahí está, ahí está, Natalie. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Present, teacher. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, Mauricio también. Eh, Mercedes Alejandra. Present, teacher. Ok, eh, Roxana Álvarez. Present, teacher. Present, present. Ok, eh, Roxana Elizabeth. No here. Sara Alejandra. Present, teacher. Ok, ahí está Sara. Eh, Sergio Adolfo. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Janet del Carmen. Ok, Janet is there too. Yesenia Lisset Aguilera Cruz. Creo que es otra de las que envió un mensaje ahí.
Bueno, antes de eso voy a hacer una aclaración por no vaya a ser que al final eh, alguien comprenda mal. A partir de lunes, la forma de, de, de la lista así es diferente. La forma de, de registrar su asistencia es automática a través del sistema. Si por algo emotivo le apareciese que usted no estuvo un día o X o Y, eh, no me vaya a culpar, me vaya a decir de que, de que ha sido mi culpa porque ya es el sistema el que lo va registrando. Aclaro eso para que no hayan confusiones. Okay, let us continue. Uh, we are going to start with this slide. I need to share with you and we are going to talk about new vocabulary, okay? This is video conference number six, and the topic for today is industry vocabulary. As you can see the picture up here, somebody wants to describe the picture. What can you see there? Tell me. Who wants to describe the picture? ¿Quién me describe la imagen? Industrial work. Work. Ok. What else? What can, what can you see there in the picture? Just tell me. You need to be able to describe what you see. Okay, in español, ¿qué es lo que vemos en la imagen? Just describe what you see there. Me teacher. Okay, uh, Don Jose Ernesto Alemán. The worker are observed checking the fusion from uh, Procer Industrial. Uh, okay, maybe they, they look like engineers. They look like engineers. Yes, engineer. And they are watching a, a plan. A diagram or something, you know. And uh, we can see it's a it's a it's a huge plant. In order to produce, I don't know what kind of material they produce there. Okay, thank you. Let us continue talking about industry. Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a business vocabulary. We are going to relate this with the industry. Vamos a relacionar esto del business vocabulary con la parte de la industria. So I need uh, you try to ident identify the words that you don't know how to pronounce. As soon as you do that, I'm going to produce the sound for each word and you are going to have the opportunity to repeat it and use it in a sentence and even in a conversation. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes to read it by yourself and then I'm going to do it. It is just in order that you can identify all the difficult word for you, the new one.
Okay, let us start. I'm going to read it to all of you. And I'm going to start saying advantages, advertisement, agenda, authorization, bill, brand, budget, commission, distribution, decrease, deficit, employee, employer, equipment, estimate, experience, improvement, increase, industry, interest, inventory, invoice, market, offer, profit, promotion, purchase, refund, report, result, rise, and risk. Okay. How many words are new for you? Just tell me. Teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, the most of the vocabulary, I don't know what is the meaning. Which one? <laughs> Casi que todas. <laughs> Me too, teacher. My goodness. Yes. Well, we are going to try to give you the meaning, but maybe not all of them we are going to give you because... Uh, First of all, what I want is that you know how to produce the sound, and later on we can start talking about that. Okay, lo primero que vamos a hacer es centrar la atención en la pronunciación, and later on we are going to talk about that. For example, the first one, advantage. Advantage. What is that in Spanish? ¿Qué es eso? Anuncio. Excuse me? Anuncio? No, advantage. Ventaja? Ventaja. Son ventajas. Y ahí aparecería la otra que sería disadvantage, que serían desventajas. Okay, next. Advertisement. Advertisement. Anuncio. Ah, okay. Publicidad. Anuncio. Okay. Eh, agenda. Is the same agenda. Okay. Authorization. 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 Okay. Bill. Um, como vales o tiquetes. Factura. Facturas. Son los recibos. Bill. The power bill, the weather bill, the cable bill, the telephone bill. Esos son los biles. Así dije la gente en Estados Unidos que tiene yes. que pagar los, los they biles. Have, they have to pay the biles. They say, uh -huh. ellos lo dicen así, los biles. Hoy solo tengo que ganar para los biles, dicen ellos así. Uh -huh. A eso se refiere. Ok, brand, brand. Marca. Yes. Marca. Ok. What else? Yes, marca. Okay, budget, budget. Presupuesto. Ese es el budget. Ojo con esos términos. Se los estoy dando ya porque más adelante lo van a usar. Commission. It's the same, comisión. Comisión. Okay, commission. Distribution. Distribución. Distribución. Decrease. Eh, decrease. Disminuir. Okay, decrease. Disminuir. Deficit. The same, deficit. But in Spanish is es con tilde, ¿verdad? Okay. You need to have a concept about each term, deficit. Employee. Empleado. Employer. Empleador. Empleador. E equipment. Equipo. Equipo. Equipment, okay. Equipo. 
uh, estimate. Tomorrow. Experience. Experiencia. Okay. Improvement. 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 Is new work. Is a new word? Mejorar. Comillas. What is the meaning? Mejorar. Son mejoras. Improvement. Okay, increase. Increase. Aumentar. Okay. Um, industry. Industrial. Okay. Uh, interest. 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 Intereses. Okay. Inventory. Inventario. Eh, invoice. Factura. In invoice. Invoice. Factura. Yes. Ponganle atención, compañeras, por favor, para que vayamos tomando ahí eh, nota de las traducciones. Market. Bill, teacher. Hello. Bill, bill and invoice. Lo mismo prácticamente. Mm. O cómo. En bill es, por ejemplo, el agua, la luz. Invoice, if you buy something, you got an invoice. Si usted compra algo, le dan un invoice. Y luego, eh, por el consumo de energía y agua, le llega un bill. No sé si me voy a entender. Recibo y factura. Ah, ok. You got it. O oh, depende del contexto, Picha. Yeah, so all depends on the context, too. Acuérdense que ya vamos en el módulo 3 y aquí vamos a ir cambiando algunas cositas about meaning ok market mercado ok market uh, offer oferta oferta ok profit ganancias ok profit promoción no Profit. Okay, ganancia. Yeah, profits. Son ganancias, profits. Promotion. Promotion. Purchase. Promotion. Compra. Okay. A refund. A refund. Teacher, purchase es compra. Yes. It's the same buy. It is the same buy. Mm, Comprar. Mm, oh. Yeah, maybe the meaning, but but in this case, when we talk about a company, we use purchase. Porque aquí ya no son unas compras pequeñas, sino que ya son cosas industriales. Buy is the bear. Yeah, buy, buy is a general term. Okay, thank you. Okay, refund, refund, refund. What is that? Also. Yes. You buy something, but maybe in El Salvador it's not possible, but in the United States, yes. Uh, if I buy uh, an equipment in Home Depot, for example, and 
two or three days, I decide that I don't need it and I don't want it. I go, I take the equipment to on depot and I say, I don't want it, I, I don't need it. Could you give me my money back? And they say, yes. That is called refund. Aquí no sé si existe eso, pero en Estados Unidos me consta que sí funciona el refund. Okay, report. I did the report. report. Okay, report the teacher. Okay, report. Uh, result. Resultados. Okay, rice. Levar. Aumento. Okay, and the risk. Riesgo. Okay, now take a, uh, a screenshot if you want. Haga por favor una captura. And choose one of these words. Elija usted una de esas palabras and create a sentence. Elija una de esas palabras y cree una oración usando esa palabra. Y es la que vamos a compartir con todos. Ok. Uh, do my pie stop sharing? No hay problema si ya detengo la... Uh, de compartir. Hello. No problem, teacher. Okay, now try to remember and share with me. Okay, what you are going to do is this. Lo que usted va a hacer es lo siguiente. Todos van a participar en esta actividad hasta los que tienen cámara apagada. Eh, for example, Hector is going to be the first one. Hector va a ser el primero. And you are going to tell me, Hector, my word is, mi palabra es. For example, I'm going to use the first one, advantage. Usted me menciona y me dice, my word is advantage. Y luego, you are going to create a sentence using the word advantage. And I can say, one of the advantages of speaking English is that I have double opportunity to get a job. I don't know if you got my, my example. Yes or no? Sí, 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 se identifican con mi ejemplo, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, choose your work and you are going to start. Yo voy a ir mencionando quién va a participar. All of you have to do it. All of you. As soon as you hear your name, you are going to say, my word is this and my sentence is this. Mi palabra es esta y mi oración es esta. Okay. I'm going to give you one or two minutes in order that you can organize your ideas in your mind related with the word that you are going to choose. Okay, let us start. Uh, I am going to start with Roxana Elizabeth. Are you there, Roxana? No, no responde. Okay, Natalie, what about you, Natalie? Teacher, eh, no sé si podría nada más repetir cómo era de decir mi palabra es y mi, y mi oración es. Por favor. Which one is your? Esa sería mi palabra, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Sí, ¿cuál es la palabra? Como me dijo Tiche, perdón. No le okay. usted tiene que elegir una palabra de oh, ese listado. Ah, sí, teacher. Ajá. No, solo que quería saber cómo decía mi palabra es. My word eh, is. Ah, ok, thank you. My, my word is promotion. Ok, promotion. And, ok, tell us a sentence using promotion. 
Okay, take me a center. Yes. Pizza Hut has the best promotion. Okay, remember that you need to give me a complete sentence. Recuerden que me tienen que dar una oración completa que se comprenda el, 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 la palabra, el uso. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me continue with. Bueno, ya vi que cuando dije que todos iban a participar, ya se me escaparon varios. ¿Se dan cuenta? Teacher, ¿puedo participar yo? Excuse me. ¿Puedo participar? Yes, of course, you can do it, Roxana. Okay. My word is my word. My sentences is I finish the report that the boss asked Report. Okay, your yes. work is report, right? Yes, report. Okay. And also you can say in my job, I had to write a report at the end of the week. Yeah, you can say that way too. Cecilia Maribel, veamos, uh, vamos a hacerlo así voluntario primero, pero todo van a pasar. Okay, Cecilia. My word is in voice. Okay, in voice, in voice. And my sentence is, I make and deliver invoices at work on Friday. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Edwin Alfredo. My word is risk. And my sentences is, in my job, there are a risk department. Okay. Hector, your turn. My word is purchase. And my sentence is, I have a purchase order of yesterday. Repeat again, please. I have a purchase order of yesterday. Okay, I got a purchase order. Okay. Smeralda. Okay, my word is experience. In my sentence is, I think that having experience in many areas uh, opens doors for a better future. Okay, oh, solo la palabra areas, areas. Areas. Some areas, some areas. I areas. Okay, Paola. Okay, teacher, my word is commission. And my sentence is people who work in sales in commission. Commission. Okay, thank you, Carlos Amilcar. Uh, my word is inventory. Uh, my sentence is the inventory is not updated in the system. But super team is working on it. Okay. What about the rest? What about the rest? Bueno, quienes hacen falta, quienes hacen falta. Okay, Gabriela está ahí. And also, Janet. Mi teacher. Mi teacher. Mi teacher. Ah, y también Don José. Vamos con Gabriela primero, los que han levantado mano. Ok, chao. Me. My word is authorization. I have authorization to buy a new cell phone for my daughter. Ok, you got the authorization. Ok, Sergio. Uh, my word is brand. Uh, my sentence is uh, my company sells uh, technology brands. Okay. Janet, okay, look okay, I'm participando. Put your hand down. My word is authorization. In my sentence. 
second is I need a permission for the question. Okay, thank you. It sounds like you are in the airport. That an airplane is there. But maybe it's because of the raining. La oímos como que si estaba en el aeropuerto y ya el avión estaba despegando. Okay, um, let me see. Somebody else is missing. Sergio, are you there? I don't know if you already participate or not. Estoy viendo lo que tiene en su mano arriba. Okay, okay, don't forget to put your hand down, please. Well, I got some people that they, maybe they are not there. I don't know why, but well, let us continue then. We already learned a new vocabulary. Uh, with the help of your classmate, uh, we translated to. Ahí tiene la traducción and even the pronunciation and you can start using it in, in uh, sentences. And that way uh, you are going to keep it in mind. Don't uh don't learn anywhere in a slave weight. No aprendan palabras en forma aislada. So, aprendanse tres palabras y luego las incrustan en una oración, en una frase, y manténganse ahí para que pueda aumentar su vocabulary. Okay, let me continue then. Okay, let us start talking about these questions. The number one said, do you often attend seminars? Okay, concentrate on the first one, please. Do you often attend seminars? And the next one say, it is easy for you to socialize at those events. And also we have a third one. How do you usually brace the eyes? Brace the eye means make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. That is what we call the brace eyes, uh, the ice breaker. Okay, let us start talking about the first one. Do you often attend seminars? How often do you do it? And the second one, it is easy for you to socialize on those events? Yes or not? And how do you usually break the ice? Okay, let us talk about these three questions. Try to keep in mind. If you consider that you are going to forget, then you are not going to be able to uh, keep in your mind. Yes, uh, take a screenshot, and that way you are going to write down in your notebook. And later on, you can give me an answer. Okay, before I stop sharing, any question related with uh, the questions? Alguna pregunta relacionada a alguna palabra? Es ahorita para antes de, de, de hacer el, el stop sharing. Ok, tell me. I don't sure about attend. Attend seminars. Yes. If you assist to seminars. Ah, okay. That is attend. Mm. Okay, eso es importante, miren. Si ustedes no comprenden alguna palabra, yes, tell me. Of course, that at, at the very beginning, I'm not going to translate in a literally wait. Desde luego que yo no les voy a, no tengo la costumbre de hacer la traducción literal así rápida, no. Les voy dando some tips in order that you can get uh, the right information. Okay, anybody else? No? 
El resto comprende completamente las tres preguntas. Ah, ok. Entonces, you are going to give me an answer for it. Don't forget the power. Do you often attend seminars? Okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to ask you questions. Let me see who is going to be the first one. Of course, I'm going to start with the people that they don't turn on to your camera. Sara, are you there, Sara, at the Estadio Oyente, Sara? Okay, I'm sorry. Well, maybe. Uh, what about you, uh, Roxana Elizabeth? Let us talk about question one. What can you tell me? How often do you attend seminar, Roxana? Are you there, Roxana? No? Uh, teacher, no entendí las preguntas. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, how can I tell you this? I'm going to repeat again. Vean, antes de pasar que yo cierre, antes de que yo cierre de lo que estoy compartiendo, les pregunto alguna pregunta, valga la redundancia, alguna pregunta que es lo que no comprende, sin miedo, sin eh, temor, don't be afraid to ask a question. Pero si usted no me pregunta, yo no le puedo ayudar. Entonces, eh, yo hice esa pregunta y le dije que no comprenden. Ok, compañeros, ¿alguien le, le dice en, en español la pregunta a uno a la compañera? Mi teacher. Ok. In the first, la primera dice que con qué frecuencia o qué tan a menudo asistimos a seminarios. Ah, ok. Ok, Roxana, give me an answer. How often do you attend seminars? Twice a year, every month, every semester? In my case, no. In your case? No. You never attend seminar? No, teacher. Okay. What about you, Natalie? Tell us. My assistance a seminary, seminary? No, teacher. Never. Never? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, Roxana Alvarez, Esmeralda. Yes, teacher. How often do you solo, attend seminars? Solo, eh, dice que como soy docente, tal vez no seminarios, pero sí capacitaciones. Se podría tomar como así también. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Me escucha. Mm, okay, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm going to use my handset in order to hear you in a very well. Okay, hold on a second, please. Permítame que necesito oírle. Now. Le mencionaba que tal vez no seminarios, pero sí a capacitaciones. ¿Se podrá? Yeah, it could be a training, training. Okay. How, uh, how, often, how often do you attend? Seminar or training? Okay. Yes, we often attend teacher trainings. Ah, okay, teacher trainings. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is almost the same a training with the seminar because we got some new technique and information related with different topics, right? Okay, thank you. Esmeralda, what about you? Esmeralda, Cecilia, eh, Mercedes. Um, in my case, maybe um, four or five times a year. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Cecilia.
Decirle I así. never teacher. You never attend seminars? Okay. Never. Okay, thank you, Janet. What about you, Janet, Mauricio? Um, never teacher. Never, never? I don't know. In seminar, I don't know. Okay, Gabi. Gabi. Teacher, I don't have seminar, but I have capacitación. Yeah, training, trainings. Trainings on a year. Okay. Paola? Yes, teacher. Yes. Usually attend seminars. Okay, how often? Once uh, in a month? Every two months? Every three months? Every four months? Eh, ¿Cómo sería cada mes? Every month. ¿Cómo? Yes. Every month. Mm -hmm. Cada mes, teacher. De hecho, a veces por eso no puedo estar con el audio pues conectándolo porque estoy en eso también. Coinciden las horas. Okay, attending seminars. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And then Edwin. Uh, actually, I don't attend to seminaries, but in the university, I usually go to seminaries. Okay. Uh, what about Edwin? In my case, teacher, um, I have no seminars but just uh, webinars a oh, lot of um webinars uh one or two weekly okay but in seminars a lot of um uh six or eight in the year okay remember that when you talk about webinar is the new word because yes. uh we use technology and not necessary, you need to move from your office and you can be connected, uh, getting the information. But we're, we're very short, one or two hours. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, Sergio. What about you, Sergio, and then um, Don Jose Ernesto? And we are going to finish with that, too. Uh, my company, uh, I never have one for 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 day, but uh, I I go to webinar for security and uh, asset company. Okay. Every month. Every month. Okay. Okay. Don Jose Ernesto. Yes, I did training every four months for the use of industrial gases. Okay, industrial gases. And the last one, Hector Enrique. What about you, sir? Tell us. I don't often go to seminar, but I have one webinar for month. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, in a hurry, let us talk about the second question because uh, we need to cover another um, part of the topic. It is easy for you to socialize at those events. Just tell me, yes or not. For me, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. It's very easy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> for me, it's very easy, teacher. It's pretty easy, pretty easy. Okay, that usually happened to me when I uh I got an invitation in order to be part of a seminar or training. Uh, what we used to do is just to introduce ourselves, give the general information, and I start talking with the people that is close to me, asking general questions, and that way I can uh, break the ice. And in order to stay quiet, uh, only just looking around, yeah? Okay, let us continue then, because of the time. Vamos a continuar porque el tiempo está ahí. Diciéndonos que debemos de continuar. 
Okay, let me move this. Okay, listen to your teacher or read the following conversation and later on practice with a partner. This is a, a, a seminar. The conversation is between uh, Rick and Jack. Okay, I'm starting this way. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. Okay, be careful with the microphone, please. Okay, I'm going to start again. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INX, uh, INC. What does INX uh, Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INX how many branches? Okay, por favor, cerremos micrófonos. Por favor, cerremos micrófonos. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? There's in Panama. And we have an explanation here about headquarters. Headquarters mean the place where a company or organization has its main offices. And branch, a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay. Tell me. Teacher, uh, what's the mean cardboard boxes? Cardboard boxes son cajas de cartón. Ah, okay. Cardboard, cardboard is cartón. Cardboard. Cardboard. Ah, yes, okay. yes, yes, cardboard. Cardboard. Cardboard boxes. Porque vean los contexto después, dice for packaging companies. Para empaque. De algunas compañías, desde luego sus productos. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Branches, teacher. Branches, aquí lo explicamos. Sería el plural, a shop or office. Es, es una tienda o una oficina representando una compañía grande o una organización en un área particular. Traducido al buen español, ¿qué sería? Una sucur. Sucursal o agencia. Ok. Pero también tenemos el headquarter. ¿Qué sería el headquarter? The place where a company or organization has its main office. El headquarter es el lugar. Como la casa matriz. Exactamente. Ahí dijo la palabra correcta. Bueno, creo que en esta conversación hay algunas palabras que son nuevas para algunos. Si es así, tratemos, yeah. tratemos de, de ir creando nuestro vocabulario. Just try to create your own vocab because you are going to need all this word during the process. In the pronunciation is branches. 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 Si, okay. fue, si fuese plural. Branches. Sí, si, branch, branches. And the sentence three, uh, uh, what does INEX ENC? It's the name of the company. Okay. No, no, uh, la pronunciation is uh, ENC, ENC, and, and después de INEX. INEX. Uh, INC. INC. Uh -huh, correct. Yes. Uh, INC, if, I we, INC. if we separate in that way. Because in Spanish we say in that way, but in English it's different. I N C. Okay. That is an uh, acronym of, uh, or something, right? Ahí les dejo de tarea que investiguen qué qué es lo que significa ink. 
Y es la abreviación de qué? Industria. Incorporated. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, try to investigate a little bit and you are going to get a minute. Or if some, some one of you know, uh, can share the information. See? This is very common. You can find it uh, in different areas. Teacher, pronunciation, the manuf manufactory, y después sigue una palabra que no sé qué, qué es. ¿Cómo se dice? Manufacture cardboard. We manufacture cardboard boxes. For packaging. ¿Qué es teacher? Car cardboard. Cardboard, ya lo mencionamos y dijimos que es. Car Las cajas. No, 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 pero la palabra cardboard. Porque cajas es boxes. Cartón. Ah, ya dijimos que es cartón. Ok, I'm going to read again and later on you are going to practice. Okay, my name is Riggs. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for uh, INX INC. What does INX INC do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Ready to practice? Taking a screenshot, please. Is done? ¿Tenemos la captura? ¿Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. I got 16 only. Okay, four minutes is enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, what about you? People is waiting for you there in the breakout rooms. Unos compañeros están solos esperando su compañía.
Okay, I don't know if you have enough time in order to practice. Uh, don't forget that you are going to use your own information in order to participate. Okay, who wants to do the part one? Okay, Sergio, you can start. Hey, uh, my partner, Paola. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Este, no sé si nos puede proyectar la conversation, teacher. Por yeah, oh, sure, I can do it. Don't forget that you are going to use your own information. You are not going to mention Rick. You are going to use your own names, please. Okay. My name, perdón, teacher, que acaba de decirnos. Use your own information. Usen su información personal. Okay, okay. My name is Paola. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Sergio. I work for INS, INC. What does INET MC do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INET have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? There in Panama. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Me teacher with my partner, Roxana. Okay, go ahead. Roxana. My name is Roxana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Gabriela. I work for INX INC. What does INX INC do? Gabriela. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And we are the headquarters. They are in Panama. Teacher. Hello? Correction about the word packaging pack 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 company. Pack okay, packaging. Packaging companies. Packaging. Packaging companies. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Me teacher. Okay. Go My ahead. partner, Hector. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Edwin. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. I am Hector. I work for INX INC. What does INX INC do, Hector? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Continue, somebody else. Uh, me, teacher, with Jose. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jose, please start. Yes. My name is Jose. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Amilcar. I work for INEX INC. What does INEX in Duyac do, do Carlos? We manufacture cardboard boxes for pack packaging companies. Oh, I see that. I next have many branches. 
Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headwater? They are in Panama. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And last couple, please, because we need to move forward to realize an activity. Okay, next, 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 please. Me, teacher. Okay. My partner, Janet. <laughs> My name is Janet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am Roxana. I work for Inex I am Tech. That's that Inex team, Julia. We, man, we manufacture cardboard boxes for baking packaging company. I see. That's in a stuff manufacturer. Yes, I does it. So, pardon. Yes, I does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Ah, well, I mean, cardboard. They are in Panama. Okay, thank you. Well, right here, in order to clarify something, it's going to be better. Remember that the word uh, ink is an, uh, uh, it's kind of a acronym. And I guess it's going to be better if you uh, reduce the sound in this way, INS ink, in the same way, you know? It's going to be better if you say in this way, ink. In because uh, how to do with incorporate companies. Hago la corrección para que sea más fluido, porque esa palabra generalmente se usa así, in. Porque viene de justamente de incorporado a una sociedad o una organización. Okay, thank you. I'm going to stop sharing. Well, let us continue with the next activity. Okay, this is number three. Pair word. What to? What to question would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Practice the expanded conversation with a partner. ¿Cuáles serían las dos preguntas que usted agregaría? para continuar la conversación. Tell me. To ask Rick to continue the conversation. I'm going back. Okay. Okay, tell me. What two question would would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Tell me. Teacher podría ser, do you like your work? Do you enjoy your job? Ah. Job? Mm -hmm. Okay, podría ser, podría ser. But, but let us see the context that we have in the conversation. Take a look at the context. Veamos el contexto de la conversación. Teacher. Hello. Uh, maybe the question, uh, how many years have they been in the market? Oh, could be, could be. Teacher. Hello, sir. Could be how do you travel to Panama? Or maybe how often do you travel? Or do you okay. travel do you travel to Panama? Okay, could be that too. Teacher, ¿y esta otra? 
we are the other branches. Repeat. We are the other branches. Es decir, que donde están las otras sucursales. Ah, uh, where, where are. Oh, where are. Where are, yeah. Talking about specific places. Okay, but there is something here. Uh, let me move forward. Vamos a dejar ahí porque necesito. Uh, well, and this, this one, talking about Pairware, lists three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Esto lo podemos hacer uh, más adelante. Me interesa uh, exercise number five and six because of the time. But let me see. Okay, the, this is the task that I want to develop with you according to the time. Work in a group to prepare a two-minute conversation about your company. Esto como que es la parte más medular para nosotros. Trabajo en equipo con alguien para preparar una conversación de dos minutos acerca de su compañía. Or describe product services used conversation model for an exercise number two. For example, uh, imagine that I'm going to show you some, some of them. Imagine that somebody wears uh, two eyes. How can you say something about that? Or maybe somebody wears uh, two super selectors or a dog, different companies, you know. But going back, what I want is that you work in a group to prepare a two-minute conversation about your company. We have, uh, let me see how many time do we have, like a minute in order to do it. And later on, we are going to resolve exercise five and six. But it's up to you. What we can do is just that we can resolve ex these exercises and we can do it later on. Okay, it's up to you. Porque la parte del TASH es la que más me, me, me llama la atención. Pero veamos el ejercicio 5. Dice, match the product service to the corresponding industry type. Check answer with a panel. Okay, let us do it now. Let us resolve. Okay, bank. We, we, we had number one right here in letter E. The finance industry. A uh, los bancos. Es la industria financiera. Okay, you are going to uh, put number in this in this column. For example, soft drink, guitar, cardboard boxes, building, mobile phones, medicine, car components, hair salon services, and clothes. And you are going to look for the Right concept, right here. Okay, trabajemos en el cinco antes de. Okay, go ahead now, please. Finish teacher. Okay.
Finish, teacher. Okay. Let's wait a little bit for the rest of the class in order that we had the chance to compare the answers. Okay, what about the rest? We have BAM, soft screen, guiders, harbor boxes, building, mobile phone, medicine, car component, hair salon services, and clothes. Finish the chair. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, let us, uh, I'm going to show the answer. But first of all, I'm going to read it. Uh, the beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunication industry. Edwin, tell me, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Okay. The beauty and personal care industry number and I hair salon service. Okay, number nine. Okay, let, let me put number here. You say it's number nine. Okay, what about next? the next one? Let it be. Someone else, someone else, please, someone else. Hurry up. Number five, teacher, buildings. Okay, number five. Okay, hold on. Number five, building. Okay, next one. Next one, please. Number 10, teacher. Okay, number 10. Number 10. Okay, next. Okay, number six. Number six. Okay, next one. Number eight. Number eight, car component. Uh, what about next one? Number four. Number four. Next. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, the next, the, the tourism industry. Number two. Okay, number three. And the last one is number? Seven. Number seven, you say number seven. Okay, you're saying this way. Okay, take a look at that. Take a look at that, please. 
Let me see if we got in the right way. Okay, you got it there. Check out, check out, please. Right here, there is some stay also too. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let me erase here. There it is. Okay, uh, we are so close to finish. Uh, let us see number six, uh, say write a sentence to describe the uh, expertise and the industrial classification of the businesses below. Share your sentence with the pattern, for example, re refresh and leave, uh, refresh and leave, we distribute soft drink. We are in the beverage industry. What about fixing care? What about enjoy and travel business bank? Uh, the sun result. Okay, at least try to resolve this one uh, for tomorrow. And we are going to start talking about these exercises. And also board number seven. Because number seven is the most important task because you are going to work with somebody else to create, uh, to prepare a two minute conversation about your company. Or maybe you can describe services. It's up to you. Okay, we are so close to finish. Let me check out the attendance again. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta este momento. I need to stop sharing. Okay. Um, ¿Qué les ha parecido la actividad hoy? ¿Cómo estuvo el contenido? Uh, you can tell me in English or Spanish. It's up to you. Very good, teacher. Okay. ¿Han, han aprendido algo nuevo ahora? Just tell me. Maybe yes, some... teacher. New word. Yes, teacher. Okay. Maybe some of you. Maybe some of you uh, already got the, the vocabulary. Remember that uh, you need to practice in order to get familiar with the sounds and also the meaning of each word. También recordemos que necesitamos práctica para poder usar todo ese vocabulario necesario. Y es precisamente desde los niveles básicos que vamos haciendo ya todo ese bagaje de, de palabras para poderlas usar eh, en una conversación de... Eh, nuestro trabajo. Teacher. Hello, sir. Participation, participation was better than other days. Ah, okay. Yeah, we are improving. Estamos eh, buscando la manera de, de, de involucrarlos a todos, porque si la dejo así, que voluntarios, solamente los mismos, Y luego a veces las personas que no participan se quejan y dicen, ay, qué aburrido, pero tampoco participan. Así que hoy mejor lo hemos, lo hemos hecho de forma así, dedocrática, para que todo el mundo esté pendiente de, de, de poder trabajar. Y aquí en estos niveles ya hay que estar pilas, con los ojos abiertos, porque los términos se van usando en forma técnica. Y eso es lo que andamos buscando, formarles una buena base de vocabulario para que luego sean capaces de poder crear cualquier conversa conversación relacionada con su trabajo, la industria, el negocio, whatever. You know? Ok, bueno. Checamos la asistencia una vez más. Eh, América ya dijo que no estaba. Eh, Carlos Amilcar Present Ok, Carlos is there uh, Cecilia Marisol, Maribel, perdón 
present teacher. Hoy Edwin Alexis. Eh, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok, Esmeralda. Present teacher. Gabriela. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Giselle. Se nos fue o se quedó todavía. No, ya no está. Eh, Héctor. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Ingrid. Ingrid. Jonathan. Eh, don José Ernesto. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está Don José Ernesto. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Ok, Natalie. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, Mercedes Alejandra. Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay, let me see. This is class number six. Let me see where is Esmeralda. I don't know it's there. I Esmeralda is there. According to my list, you are number six. You have to know at the end of the class in order that you can ask questions related with uh, the class or even about the previous topic. And I have to say at the end. Okay, for the rest, thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to finish the activity that you have in the platform. Bueno, antes de que se me vayan, si alguno me debe todavía actividades en la plataforma, por favor, le invito a que pueda. Eh... Sergio, no lo mencioné a Sergio. Teacher, no escuché mi nombre tampoco. A mí, Ma teacher, mencionó. My goodness, let, let me see again. O es que Tampoco iba... a mí, teacher. O es que iba volando, o es que pasó. Hold on a second. Veamos qué pasó aquí. Eh, Roxana de Sur, Roxana Elizabeth. Sara. Present. Ok, Sara. Present. Ahí está Sara, ahí está Sergio. Eh, está Janet. Present. Y Yesenia, que no sé si se conectó al final. Creo que no. Teacher, escuché que me mencionó, eh, pero no sé eh, qué fue lo que... Porque ya, 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 había, ya me, me había tomado la asistencia, pero no sé. Mm, no, precisamente es lo que estaba haciendo, era eh, co como verificando otra vez la, la asistencia, porque lo que cuenta es que como ustedes dicen presente, aquí estoy, eso es lo importante. Okay. Ah, when I mentioned your name, cuando mencioné su nombre, fue porque dije que es la número 6 y que viene al final de la sesión. 10 minutes to talk about uh, any doubts or comments related with the class. Al final tiene 10 minutos para poder hacer cualquier consulta relacionada a algún tema que no comprenda. Y si ya los comprendió todos, bueno algún comentario referente a la clase. Recuerde que vamos buscando la manera de ir mejorando cada día para mantener a la gente chispa, porque aquí, eh, de acuerdo a los temas que vamos mirando, podrían ser así como si no le ponemos un poco más de, 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 de ingrediente, podría convertirse en algo así como aburrido por, por el nuevo vocabulario, pero tenemos que buscar la manera de incorporarlos a ustedes con sus participaciones para que el tiempo no se sienta. Y es lo que hicimos hoy. Ok, thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, good night.